Hello everybody, uh, my name is Momcho Medic. Uh, I'll be uh, for the uh, ease of pronouncing it Momo. Uh, that's my real nickname, it's not uh, made up. Um, I'll be talking a bit of how we do image backups in Open Ebola and um, it will be a short presentation just so we can get to lunch in time. Um, it will be more of a inspirational. It's not a, a something that you can implement in your environment because uh, it relies heavily on uh, other uh, components that we have in place, such as the uh, custom API for the VM <coughs> information polling for CMDB and uh, scheduler that's in place. Um, um, I will not worry a lot about us. Uh, I will just say that we uh, are all IT, everything that's IT we do, uh, telephony network, uh, internet, uh, uh, hosting, cloud providers of course, And uh, but we really love our backups. Backups are at the core of our heart. <laughs> We also do monitoring with async of backups, so we make sure that backups are executed as we uh, expect them to be, and that there are um, um, that the results are followed up on. So, where we came from was uh, that last time I was here in Barcelona, it was just us and the uh, one other company that was still using them. Um, we no longer do that. It was very, very uh, difficult. Um, we had just a simple storage. I mean, simple, it's just a uh, SAN mount on the hypervisor. Uh, so basic file system, there was uh, no snapshots capabilities. Uh, our backups basically were, we took a VM down and we copied the contents of the disks to external location, once that's done, we boot the VM back up. And you can imagine how horrible it is when you have a VM of uh, several uh, hundred gigabytes and <coughs> you can't copy it locally because that is the purpose of backup, so you have to copy it over the network. And the uh, network is overloaded for all the backups. Also, we had uh, Chrome jobs that were very um, that were segregated so each Zen had its own Chrome job that uh, was executing uh, backups for VM for VMs uh, and that's a good thing in the the uh, overall picture because then we could uh, repurpose or rethink our backups um, in, in a more controlled manner, as in we could uh, redeploy half of our Zen's new systems under <laughs> those main tech. So when we moved to Open Ebola, we said, okay, let's see how we can do the backup differently. Um, we wanted perfect consistency. We don't have a lot of uh, VMs, so some, uh, I think, 700 VMs. And, um, but they're very, very, very different. We have PSNs, we have FreeBSD, uh, free CentOS, Ubuntu, Windows, all kinds of Windows, and uh, Windows is, and uh, we needed a backup that would be perfect. So we needed a, a guaranteed method that when we recover that backup, it will be as it was at the point when we took it. And also, we wanted to minimize that downtime that was introduced by um, copy. So the method that we used uh, is very, very simple in its uh, uh, methodology. So it's just we shut down VM, we take a snapshot, we boot it up, and then we slowly export that snapshot. It's uh, the equivalent of a reboot, so downtime is really, really minimal. Um, and it's perfect consistency because the VM is actually not running when we are taking the snapshot. So there are no open files, there's nothing that uh, is in cache or not flush. So everything is uh, as, as 
good as it can be. And then we slowly export the snapshots. We don't care how long it takes. It can take forever. As we, uh, it just needs to be completed before the next one takes place. Um, once we had that in place, we were very happy with the results, uh, but there was, um, uh, there, there, there's usually uh, one customer, but in our case many customers, that don't want their VMs to go down ever, or have very, very, very weird software that when once you reboot the, the system, it needs some manual action to start. So we thought, okay, so we can't back them up in this manner, so what can we do if we can't have perfect consistency? Let's just have some consistency. So we said, okay, we'll just do a nightly snapshots that just, we don't export them, we don't do anything with them. We just take snapshots of all the disks programmatically, and if customer or somebody else uh, messes up with the VM next day, we can revert back to like this snapshot as usually uh, no one is using it during the night. So it provides some safety feature and, and um, it's, it's definitely uh, better than uh, uh, nothing at all. And then we have the, the, the low consistency which is really, really expected not to work properly. Uh, but it's, again, better than nothing. That means that we take snapshots of a VMs, or rather we warn any backups. We take snapshots and then export those snapshots. Um, because in the end, uh, it's still a backup. The limitation here is that we have a VM with, uh, for example, five disks. You cannot instruct uh, uh, it's a storage specific issue, but you cannot instruct all snap all disks to be snapshotted at the same exact moment in time. So that's really, really, really low consistency, but in a disaster recovery scenario, it might help us. Um, so we opted for that, even though it's it's um, not perfect, but again, we have something that we that can help us, and we like to have more options uh, to use then uh, uh, more options available than we need, so it can help us in the future. So we're quite happy with, with uh, OpenEmula because it provides us with the um, uh, nice programmatic manner in which we can do actions. Uh, we're still not using XNLRPC, uh, but we, we want to go there. Currently we are using the um, uh, just the commands. Uh, everything is orchestrated from a central point where we have passwordless SSH, passwordless SSH to front end and to hypervisors, and uh, this way we can do everything. Um, it's it's definitely a huge improvement, and it's mostly uh, thanks to OpenEmula. It works for Ceph, it works for Linstore, it works for QCal2 based images, uh, storages, so yeah, it's, it's really robust. And script is not that complicated because OpenEbula does um, hide a lot of things. You don't need to know which storage you're on when you're taking a snapshot and stuff like that. Um, in future, uh, QCal2 snapshots can't be taken when the VM is um, turned off, uh, which is by nature in OpenEmula that the VMs are uh, transient, if that's a correct term. So once the VM is down, the system no longer knows about it. But you know, there, there's work around, works around, work around for that. Uh, and of course, the uh, boiler again, new cook system, we hope to uh, make more use of it so it's, uh, we, we don't have to have our uh, script that's uh, very complex, but also some of the complexity for that, for the, uh, to the open envelope. And uh, yeah, that, that would be it. Uh, do you have any questions? Any questions from 